Chris um, from Venture Haven. So um, I'm actually the current, I'm currently the success director. So what Venture Haven essentially actually does is that uh, we help entrepreneurs to incorporate their companies, um, not only in Singapore but also overseas as well. For example, in Malaysia, uh, in BVI, Cayman, etc. So um, not only do we actually incorporate companies, we do actually also provide corporate solutions such as um, getting them to be in compliance with IRAS, uh, with ACRA, so AGM in filing, AGM AR filing, um, accounting, etc. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's great. So uh, can you just help me out uh, uh, the type of services that you provide in terms of legal compliances? Legal compliances. Right. Okay. So. Um, when you are talking about legal compliance, I would say um, it's more for compliance regulation. So in terms of meeting the regulation or requirements for ACRA and IRAS in Singapore. So for ACRA, uh, we do actually act as the company secretary to help them to file their AGM or their annual return on time. And also for IRAS, we actually help them to file their estimated charge of income and um, form CS on time for IRAS. Okay, in terms of uh, let's say any company coming from the health tech or any company coming from fintech, or any company coming mm. from the food tech, yeah. uh, how do you help them in terms of getting the requisite licenses? Ah, okay. Actually, to for to be very honest with you, uh, we are really not a license expert over here. So for license wise, we usually will guide them or um, to to yeah, we will actually direct them to the correct website, and then we we'll probably get them to check with the authority directly. Okay. Yeah. And how do you uh, what, uh, what kinds of services or the guidelines or the uh, handholding do you provide in terms of? Uh, manpower hire and the uh, uh, contract uh, resources or the contract job and all those things. Uh huh. Contract job? The, uh, contract job in the sense, let's say, whenever we are picking up, uh, one, first the moment company has been formed mm. and that company is picking up some contract order. Mm. Okay, let's say two years or three years. Mm. So they need to go through the uh, MOU, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So do you provide that type of guidance that, okay, these are the legal standard uh, pattern that we should be doing? Okay, I think it's a bit different in Singapore because for legal wise and compliance, for example, for corporate compliance, it's a little bit different. Okay. So for venture even itself, I can be very honest and frank with you here, we don't actually provide legal service here. Okay, so Not at all. completely focus on that. So when mm. the company is set up and then uh, come, uh, audit purpose and the other compliances that you do, statutory yes, compliances. Yes, correct, statutory, statutory compliances, compliances. Correct. But if at all, if any companies are telling that no, now I want to get I want to hire 20 resources. Mm. What kinds of licenses, labor licenses are needed to obtain? No, uh, okay. Actually, our people are equipped with the knowledge on what kind of license they will actually need to um, take part in or um, apply for. But however, we don't actually um, participate in the license application for our clients. Okay. But we will guide them in the correct direction and what say. About the, what about the sales tax registration and other uh, registration? Registration. Sales tax. Sales. Sales tax. That is called VAT. In Singapore, you have got a VAT. Um, actually, come again. Sales tax or VAT, uh -huh. value added service tax. Uh, oh, you mean GST? GST, you right. Ah, uh, GST. Okay, so okay. GST. So you support that? Yes, we support that as well. Okay, so yeah. you help us support. And uh, getting the export or import licenses? Um, okay, in Singapore, it's fairly straightforward. As long as you're importing or exporting out of Singapore, you only need to actually um, activate your uh, Custom account, yeah. So there's no license required. You just nothing. Have to get a separate account. Correct. That's all. Correct. You and just you have to activate it. the custom account. That's okay. it. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Unless you are importing, for example, like alcohol, tobacco, um, food, you know, sensitive product like that, and then you will need an additional license. But if you know, you know, if you are just importing um, things like clothes, clothing, um, textile, this kind of thing is something that you don't need a license. How do you go ahead and start a blockchain company? Ah, blockchain is a little bit sensitive in Singapore because of the regulation by the bank. So um, usually it depends. Uh, we will actually request kind of to go for a legal advice for white papers before we can actually incorporate the company for clients. But before that, we will have to tell client very honest and upfront. For bank account opening, it might be a little bit tough. And what about the fintech company? Fintech company is absolutely no problem. Absolutely no problem. No problem. Okay. Mm. So what kinds of other support that you give in the fintech? No. Uh, Support is actually the same as any same, other company out there. Everything is same. So yes. It's, uh, setting up the private investment. Correct. It's the same standard. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, what has been the success? Uh, what is the key win that you had in the last two years? Ah, the key win. I would say that our client would love us for our human touch. Uh, basically, we are what the comments that we have gotten from clients that uh, we are very warm to them, um, the human touch, and we respond very, very quickly based on their requests. Yeah. Okay, good. And what? where do you want to see yourself uh, another five years down the line? Myself? Your company. My company. I thought myself. <laughs> My company. I would say uh, we will expand. I would like our company to actually further expand our product line. 
Yeah, so in terms of Perlan Land itself, uh, and we will also expand regionally. Yes. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.